seen a cloud like this. Yeah, that is actually a cloud hovering over the East Valley back in 2022. This video of the weather phenomenon going viral with tons of people calling it a possible UFO. But the National Weather Service confirmed otherwise, saying it's actually what's called a lenticular cloud. Now, these clouds are notorious for being described as UFOs because of their oval flying saucer like shape. But what causes it? And could we be seeing more clouds like this in the coming days? 12 News Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries joins me now for Weather 101. OK, looking at this, Ginger, I could totally see how so many people think this is like a UFO. OK, but is it a flying saucer? Almost, it looks like it. Okay, because the term <laughs> flying saucer actually, some believe, dates back to these clouds. It happened in 1947, and there's a pilot flying over Mount Rainier in Washington. And he reports what he says looks like a saucer over water. He actually drew a picture of it, and I have that for you. Um, this is what he describes. Here's the top, and it's yeah. nice and thin. Mm -hmm. All right, so he gets misquoted in the newspaper and the newspaper then starts using the word flying saucer. Well, a lot of meteorologists believe that what he actually saw was lenticular clouds because of the weather conditions that day. But you know, was it a flying saucer, which started from his account or was it a lenticular? They look the same apparently. Yeah, apparently. Okay. So how did these lenticular clouds form? Well, understand that they can form anywhere from the deserts to islands to mountain communities, and it's pretty complex. But what you really need is moisture and wind. The key, though, is you need wind that is perpendicular to any kind of obstruction like a mountain. So this past weekend, if you saw some lenticulars, we had the perfect conditions for it. We had moisture, the clouds mm -hmm. we had some wind. So what happens is these clouds come up and they have to race up in the higher levels of the atmosphere to get over the mountains. And as they're shearing off the sides, the wind direction will then basically create this smooth coating and it uh, it just revolves. It's a wave formation over the mountains, but you need wind, you need moisture. It can be anywhere. And then you get these giant saucers. Wow. So it's like instead of the stars aligning, it's the wind and the clouds aligning. Yeah, we call it wind sculpting Ooh. because the winds have sculpted these clouds into these uh, very smooth round formations. Very cool. All right. Thanks for the 101, Ginger.